back with one of our new favorite segments here. It's called Modern Medicine, where we break down the latest medical headlines and some new studies to help you live a healthier life. And this morning, we're going to cover everything from exercise incentives to all the plastics that are in our homes. NBC News medical contributor Dr. Natalie Azar is with us. And oh, by the way, <laughs> a little birdie told us it just Yay. so it happens to be your birthday. Happy birthday. I'm so, legal. Happy <laughs> Happy 30th. Time. Yes. Uh, so, yes, we'll celebrate later. But let's let's Thank dig you. in, as Chanel likes okay. to say here. For folks who might need that little extra push to get to the gym, there's this new study that found that daily incentives or daily reminders yeah. might just be it. Well, like, give, give us give a, an example of that, yeah, right? Yeah. So it, it may sound like, oh, that sounds intuitive that if you have an incentive, you're going to exercise more. But these researchers actually did the study and they mm. found that people who are at risk for heart disease, if they got a daily reminder or they had an incentive, it could have been financial, it could have been a reward. Not only did they up their exercise, but they continued to sustain that exercise 18 months after the, the, the study started. It's kind of this idea of, you know, we, we as humans, I think we have these short-term incentives mm -hmm. and we sometimes are, are more eager to do that, almost like instant gratification. I it up in my mind what the incentive is yeah, or right. the goal. Right. So, so the idea here is if you do have a short-term incentive, can you sustain that long-term benefit? And they found that you actually can. Wow. So what can you do at home? You can set a daily reminder on your phone, get up and exercise. There are actually award um, app reward programs. Mm -hmm. I looked, I tried to look up some of these to see like, do I pay myself money? Yeah. But like, I think I have to do a little more research on that, but I think there are ways that you can do that, even mm -hmm. a financial incentive to yourself yeah, cool. and ask friends to keep you on track. We always know that that yeah. buddy system works, but just a little bit of extra exercise reap the benefit down the line. Okay. Um, this next one, I honestly don't know much about beta blockers, yes. but they are routinely prescribed yeah. after a heart attack. So this is really interesting, and we'll see whether or not it shakes up the cardiology world. It has been standard of care for years that after somebody has a heart attack, they get put on this medicine called a beta blocker. What this study was looking at was, well, what if, if you have a heart attack, but your heart function is normal, meaning you didn't go into CHF, congestive heart failure. Mm -hmm. Does that beta blocker actually benefit you? And they mm. found that it didn't. Mm. Now, the caveat here is that you're not going to stop taking your medicine. You're going to talk to your doctor about this. But, but here's the idea. Back when beta blockers first came out, we weren't as good with our procedures. We didn't have other medicines post, -MI, post heart attack that we do now. So maybe the benefit of that beta blocker after a heart attack for everybody mm. is not necessary anymore. Like I said, I reached out to a couple of my cardiology yeah. colleagues. They're like, super important, but I still I still prescribe beta yeah. blockers. Is it just because so, it's what's been done? And so Exactly, but I think we always need reminders in medicine just because we've always done right. it this way. It may not, it may not need to be this way forever. Okay. This grabbed my attention yesterday and I didn't understand it. it talks yeah about accelerated aging yes. and connection to cancer rates. What does that mean and how would you know if you're exactly. know, aging so, fast? So this one could get a little bit like kind of complex, but I want to convey what I think the really interesting take homes here are. We have always been talking, especially the last couple of years, early onset cancer. Yeah. Why are all these people getting cancer so early? So we're talking about this concept of something called a biological age versus your chronological age. Mm. Your biological age is technically modifiable. Other than genetics, it's lifestyle, it's environment, it's all these things that we do to ourselves that could technically age us. And they found this concept of accelerated aging could be linked to an increased risk of cancer. How they defined accelerated aging, it was nine simple blood tests hmm. of things what? that you guys wow. might have heard of, like a C-reactive protein and a wow. white blood cell count. And they found that like these certain lab tests actually predicted wow. aging. Hmm. Now, the, the not the caveat, but kind of the thing is like, well, if you could identify these early, right. could you screen these people earlier, yeah. right? Because we always talk about early onset cancer, you get diagnosed at a yeah. more advanced age. Not ready for prime time, but super interesting. Mm. Microplastics really quickly, and full disclosure, yeah. this is something that I have become quite fascinated yes. with mm. over the last year or so because we know that these tiny plastics yeah. are in just about everything. Yes, they are. So um, a, a month ago, their study, microplastics links to increased Increased risk of heart disease. Well, slow down. We're the the jury is not out on that necessarily. But if you're hearing this and at home you want to make some changes to protect yourself from these micro and nanoplastics, mm -hmm. you can. We start with look at our. Do we have our thing up here? Nope. Yep. 
swap. Maybe. I'm going to say it. Okay. We're going to swap there in we go. glass. We're going to swap in glass or metal rather in the than microwave. using plastics. Avoid microwaving food in plastics. Yeah. We've known that for yeah. a couple of years. And wash plastic utensils or containers by hand. And just a note wow. on the on that increased risk of heart disease. They found plaque in artery. Don't know yet if it's an innocent bystander or if it's really causing the problem, but I don't think this is the last we're going to hear about microplastics. Really quickly, that yeah. last point there, why? On, on washing the plastic utensils or containers? By hand. I think it's the heat in the dishwasher yeah. that can allow those little micro and nanoplastics seep to place. seep all over the place. I know we're out of time, but real quick, because yeah. over in the UK, they might have found <gasps> the secret to happiness. Oh my gosh, I love this. They actually have a class called the Science of Happiness at the University of Bristol, and the students who took this class class maintained what they learned and they basically say get it out of yourself acts of kindness social connections focusing on positive events practicing gratitude staying physically active meditating oh, and mindfulness yeah. but that can make you happy don't you always wonder like it's i want to really be happy what is happiness Thanks. you do these things and you will be happy happy birthday dr happy, happy birthday, birthday. Yeah. <laughs> that's what i'm thankful for your life Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.